guys learning with rich here in this video let's continue our discussion about revit 2022 so this time around i'm gonna teach you how to extend structural elements to your roof okay so as you can see currently this is our model here so what i want to do is i want to extend the structural elements to my roof so the first thing that i'm gonna do here is you see these walls here Okay, so let's say, for example, this is the location of my stairs. So I want to extend these uh, walls to the roof level. So I can do that here in the 3D view, but what I'm going to do is let me do it in the floor plan view. So on my second floor, so I'm going to select here tile views so I can also see the 3D view like this one here. So I have here the floor plan and then I also have the 3D view. So what I'm going to do here on my uh, floor plan view, I'm going to select the walls here on my uh, northeast. Okay, so I'm going to hover my pointer to one of the wall and then I'm going to press tab once. And then as you can see, it now highlights, then click. And you can also see here that in the 3D view, it's highlighted, right? So I'm going to pan my drawing and I also want to select the walls here. So I'm going to hover my pointer and then I'm going to press tab, hold control, and then click to select that as well. So again, if you take a look at the 3D view, the walls now are selected on my stairway or staircase location. Okay. So after that, the next thing that you need to do, check out the properties here. So for the walls, since there is this properties or property that is called uh, top constraint. So currently, the top constraint of my wall here is uh, up to level 0 to floor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the drop down arrow just like that. And then you'll be able to see here the available level in your project. Okay, so in our case, I'm going to select here the roof because I want to extend the top constraint or the top portion of my walls up to the roof. So I'm going to select that one and after that, apply. And there you go. So it's now extended. Right? So now the next thing that I'm going to do is I want to copy all the structural elements, the slabs. Okay, so I want that to be copied on my uh, third floor as well on my roof. Okay, so that is what I want to do. So that's why here on the second floor again. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to select this area here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select only this area. I'm going to use a window selection. So I'm going to pick here, hold your left click, and then using a window uh, selection so we are going to move our pointer up to here and then release our left click to select it okay so as you can see these are now the selected elements and you can also see that here in the 3d view now for now i do not want to copy all of these elements that is currently highlighted so that's why what i'm going to do is from the selection here while these elements are selected, I'm going to select here the filter to refine the element category selected in my view. So I'm going to select the filter and then I do not want to select the grids. So let us uncheck that one. And I also want to uncheck the shaft openings. And I do not want to copy the walls here. Okay. I do not want that. So I only want to copy the floors, the symbol, the structural beams and columns, the framing. Okay, so these are the elements that I would like to copy. And then after that, I will select your OK. So now that I have refined the selected elements, so the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm now going to select here copy to clipboard. Okay, so after we refine the selection of the elements or the selected elements, so I'm going to select here, copy to clipboard, or you can also uh, press Control C. Okay, so I'll just click this one, copy to clipboard. That's it. And then after that, you can see here the paste from clipboard. So you click the drop down arrow, and then you can have these options here. And I'm going to use here align to selected views. So just click that one. 
and then you can now select here what is the floor plan that you want to uh, to have these elements to be pasted okay so I'm gonna select the 0 3 and then hold control to select the roof together there you go and then after that select OK that's it and let's check out on the 3d view let's just wait there you go see so it's now copied now what I want to do is I want to remove this uh, edge here on the third level and also on the roof I want to refine or modify this slab here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna modify that here in the uh, 3d view so I'm going to select this slab here so let's select this floor okay I do not want that um, edge like that so I just want that to be straight like that okay so I'm gonna refine this uh, floor here I'm going to edit this so click the floor and then after that look for edit boundary just click that one and then you can now uh, modify the boundary of your floor so as you can see the magenta color that is the boundary of your uh, floor so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use window selection to select these elements just like that as you can see it's highlighted here as well so you select these lines and then after that just delete that one delete okay and then after that we are going to connect these uh, two lines here so maybe much better I'm gonna click this line as well and then delete then I will select uh this one trim extend to corner just click that one so you pick the two lines that you want to connect this line and then this line here and there you go because whenever you create the floor so it should be close boundary okay so as you can see it's now close boundary it shouldn't be open okay it should be closed loop Right, so that's how you will modify it, and then after that, just uh, finish edit mode. That's it. There you go. So as you can see, it's now modified. So let's do that as well on our uh, third floor slab. So we can do that in the 3D view, and we can also do that in the floor plan view. So let me go to the roof level. Okay, and then let's click that uh, floor. Click that one. And then after that, go to Edit Boundary, and then let's modify it. So again, let's select like this. There you go. And then Delete. And then let's use Stream Extend to Corner. Let's pick this pink line here, and then this pink line here to close it. There you go. There you go. So it's now closed like that. Then just finish it. There you go. So in 3D view, so this is now how it looks like. Let me just, oh, I think the one that I have modified is the second floor. Right, so I, I'm just gonna undo that. Where is that? Uh, edit sketch, finish sketch. Mm, this one, and then close it. Because the one that I have modified is the second floor, so I do not want to modify the second floor. So what I want is the roof, which is this one here. Okay, so this is the roof. So I click this one. Same procedure. Edit boundary. Okay, and then select, and then delete. There you go. Then after that, uh, trim extend to corner. One, two, and then check. All right, and then after this one, just select OK. There you go. So in the 3D view, so this is now how it looks like there you go so it's now modified it's now modified 
And one last thing, we need to close this one here. So we do not want to have an open space here on our stair, uh, stairway uh, loca uh, location on that one and then here. So that's why I'm going to select again this uh, floor. Let's edit the boundary. There you go. And then let's delete this line here. Click that line. Delete. Click this line here. Delete. And then just use stream extend to corner, this line here, and then this line here. And then we also do that here. So I'm going to connect this line here, and then this line here. And then after that, make sure you modify because we want to terminate the trim because we are going to delete this. Delete and then delete. There you have it. And then don't forget to finish it. There you go. All right. So let's maximize that view and check this out. So it's now modified. So basically, that's how you extend uh, structural elements to our roof level. Okay. So hopefully, you learned something from this video. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching, guys. Have a nice day.